welcome back to today's video on how not to suck at teaching. So today's topic that we're going to be covering is the creative process. How do we grow creatively during our in our lifetimes, uh, pretty much? So for me, the best way to describe the creative growth process is in the beginning. I did this in another video, like the top five things that you need to know. Um, or the top five reasons or how creativity can be judged or analyzed. So for me, the growth of creativity is starts at a young age where you're ex, you're in an experimentation stage where you just want to experiment and play with different stuff, different materials, different processes, different applications. Um, and it's really just to see what happens. And you, it's so in that, in, in the creative process, I think that that's imperative that you never lose that, that you always want to be in the mindset or in the mode to create freely, create, um, do an experimentation in anything that you do, because that, that shows growth and growth and movement and how you become better as an artist. Now, after you get past the experimentation phase, then you start to, uh, basically copycat how to copy an image how to copy something that you've already seen um you don't have any personal thought or voice until that process is completed for you now that doesn't mean that at this age every child should be this should be structured this way creatively no, because I, as I said, I'm, I'm experimentation. I like to experiment and try different methods, try different things all the time. Um, now, after I try those experimentations, now in my process and the way that I work, I've skipped the copycat phase because I, I go and I experiment. And then after the experimentation, I then go to an innovation phase, which is the next phase. So experimentation followed up by copycat to innovation. So the innovation phase uh, for me, and I think for a uh, majority of artists is we see something that we like and then we want to change it. We want to evolve that process, that idea, that concept. And how are you going to evolve that process and concept? And what are you going to do to make it new, newer, better, more evolving, more provocative, or more engaging? After you've done the innovation, then it moves into creating a higher level of thought or process. Um, case in point, my ceramics process and the way that I create ceramics over the years has changed, has evolved, it has grown exponentially in the way that I create. I still am big on the on the experimentation phase. I like to try different clays, try different applications of adding clay together to one another, um, building different forms that are similar. Um, a very I got a lot of inspiration in Greek and Roman pottery and the way that they create these uh, pristine geometric or balanced pieces and the way that they create pieces. I still, I still know that in my work and when I create and I aesthetically have to create works that are similar to that. Um, it, in my mind, in my, in my gut, in the way that I make, um, I can't make something that is just obtuse or angular or something that doesn't jive with me on a, on a geometric, on a, on a very, very basic level of, of design that I have to have that element in there. Um, but with that said, that as you are taking those evolutionary steps and you're trying to breed a new process or new creativity out of these, um, I've taken in some of my works and how I've created, take basic Greco-Roman pottery where you know those giant big vases and they have like the designs of the the Greek stories carved or uh, embossed or along the outside of the, of the vessel. Taking that and then m mimicking that in a different form or fashion and um, I've always been good at watercolor. I like watercolor. It's one of the, it's the only painting method that I actually um, am good at and I enjoy. Um, so I took that concept of how do I do watercolor, how do I paint on clay? And then I started on the, on my fusion pieces where I've actually created the, um, the fusion, 
the modern frescoes is what I've termed it in my head. That's kind of what I'm calling it, modern frescoes, because to me it's still a fresco in, in its basic form, but it's modern in the application phase to me, I guess. So that I'm taking a slab of clay that I've rolled out and I can emboss designs into it. I can create elements that come into a 3D plane. Most of the time I'm doing a straight uh, drawing sketch, but then using specific glazes and slips and ongobes to get the color palette of an actual painting. Um, check it out up on, uh, I got some now on Instagram and Twitter. I might throw a couple in here so you guys have, have some other ones to look at. Uh, but check those out and tell me what you think. And down in the comments below, please leave uh, your thoughts and process, your thoughts and ideas on the on these four. I only said four today. Uh, methods of creativity and how creativity evolves. Starting again as a quick recap, closing out the class today. To close out the class today, we're going to recap on those four processes. Number one, experimentation. Number two, uh, copycat phase number three innovation phase and number four the evolution of a higher thought so the, the to elevate your process to elevate how you create uh down in the comments below tell me how you guys create if you guys think that that's the same process for you guys or if you do a different process altogether otherwise i will see you guys next class have a good one later guys